Um, one of the most fascinating things for us is that in the earliest phases, as we're now in the thought experiments territory of the progenote world, which is rickety chemistry, it's like no species, right? It's just protocellular masses. It's a consortium model that that that, micro, uh, that uh, micro, microbiologists talk about, or or microbial map people talk about. And it's all horizontal transfer. There's like almost in the progenote world, there'd be no vertical descent. It's like this smush of shared stuff. It's all probabilistic. And if you actually go to Yellowstone, you see this. If you go to Yellowstone, the slight change in the flow of liquid out of a hot spring changes the, exquisitely changes the microbial community in its thickness and what's on top and what's on bottom and what's in the middle. And they all, they assume all these shapes, just a, adapting just to local conditions, exquisitely local. So I think that life for billions of years was exquisitely localized, but on a continuous basis where there's no speciation going on. Just a little bit more photosynthesis here because you have access to it, but chemosynthesis here because you have access to it. And we have to actually rethink. If you're thinking about the origin of life and the first 90% of life on Earth, you have to think in a different term than you know, species competing. It, it's, a diff it's a different world. I, I'm sorry, we have to end this now. Uh, we're over time, and there's a film screening over in the Catalina Ballroom over in the hotel, and they have to set this room up for the banquet.